Okay. Just uh, get into this game. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, the bugs don't actually count as monsters for the purpose of background music. <laughs> Level rises. The maximum HPs become 66. The maximum MPs become 52. The offense power of the sword is increased if only I were using the sword. Which is the thing that we're about to go fix. Well, we're not going to be using the sword. We're going to use a magician so that we can use a spell like Bolt Tor 1. Which is all the way back to the beginning, I believe. Spell, but I didn't feel like it. coming in from outside. Hey! Can't go in calling friends. This game, that's right. <laughs> down the passwords. Once you learn the trick of the, the short passwords for not exactly the same level, 
or same part of the level. It just kind of stopped with the more specific. <laughs> but yeah, the long passwords of the ancient days are terrible. <laughs> okay, not this town. We need to keep going. Because for some reason I started as a saint, and that's not going to do me any good anywhere. <laughs> Ultimate aesthetic. Yeah. I thought it was nice to have, like, an RPG that wasn't set in medieval Europe. Not exactly an RPG, of course, but. <sighs> I always love the music in it, though. But yeah, the game knew it had long, terrible passwords, but that you'd probably get the first two characters right. So if you entered it wrong for a few times, it's like, yeah, we'll just put you at the beginning of the level. <laughs> so I don't actually know if I've played this game all the way through from beginning to end. get the coin because I I don't know if I have to pay to change my class. It's been too long. You can't do that here, right? Spirit of the Blue Star, what brings you to my blessed mosque? Changing the class, please. You want to change your class? Hmm, which do you want? Magician. Magician? Okay. But I need a donation of a hundred rupees. Does need money. By the power of the blue star, give the class of magician to Misk. Anything else? No, we're good. So now we have that. It isn't any as hard. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't play a lot of games that were like at that level of difficulty necessarily. that like once they hit me I can't hit them back. Uh, the hardest was Dragon Warrior 2. I don't know if I played that one in particular. 
I know I might have tried a couple of Dragon Warriors, but not like, seriously. Just kind of exploring, yeah, what was this one like? I, I did go through YouTube and watch someone play through them all, so I've seen what's there, but I don't remember any of it. Wait, ah, no! I probably should have done something about that. <laughs> I don't want to die! Alright, where's the hotel in this town? Shopping. There it is. Twenty rupees a night. Would you like to stay? Sure. Alright. Three is pretty hard. Hmm. Maybe I'll go through them sometime, but uh, probably not for a bit. I'm gonna use the magic of Oprah, and I don't have a, a rupee seed to do me any good. Now we're gonna go into the past! Misk, use the magic of Oprin! Alright. Oprin Sesame! Look, I found a secret entrance! <laughs> Misk, this is the time door! Let's go back 50 years to find Farouk and Maroon through this door! into Coronia's TARDIS! Wah. Ooh! Meldo appeared! Meldo? I seem to remember these guys being terrible. A dog fox lady sidekick? I don't remember which one that was. I do not parse her as a dog fox lady. She looks like a cat to me. And I guess I kind of get that from the name, too. It's like Coronia. It's like a time cat, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, now we have magic. No, we don't have magic. What? You attack. No, no. Turn them into whatever you turn them into. I mean, she might be a canine. I don't know if there's like an official ruling. <laughs> Go check the Wikipedia. Check the Japanese Wikipedia. use the rod now since I'm a magician. <laughs> it's serving because it's food and drink that you're giving them to the restore themselves later. So it's like being served at the table. Ice cream sandwiches? I think that's right. I only remember like I think the manual talked about turning them into cakes, 
But this isn't the one that turns them into cakes. It's like a different spell that does that. The Japanese version is a different game. It is. I didn't uh, realize exactly how different it was until I went and looked it up on YouTube a little bit. Apparently it has like a whole separate different, different battle mode. And of course the main character looks like someone else altogether. <laughs> I'm just glad to have a game with music in it again. I've been playing The the Witness for a few weeks, and it was a nice game, but it has no background music. <laughs> Alright. There's no way we're gonna beat all these guys. Yeah, it is good what they did with the game, I think. Brandish the magic rod! Brandish the magic rod! Yeah, these guys are, like, way too hard for my level. <laughs> Not fight. Good. Now don't call for friends. Yeah, it takes a bit to get any decent amount of strength. I do remember that much. <laughs> Woo! Nine experience points, 30 rupees, and a hammer. Hammer. No. I'm trying to go this way. Alright. This song, I love so much. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Alright. Okay, again, I don't have a rupee seed, so I don't need to open this area yet. in this town. Did you study there? I did not. Welcome to Rudoria. This was Rudoria. Yeah, it was still Rudoria in the future. If you eat the rupee seed, you will become invisible. Did you bury the rupee seed? I didn't get one! <laughs> Magic University. The admission fee is 20 rupees. Alright. Would you like to take a course? Sure. This is my least favorite song in the game. <laughs> Congratulations on your admittance. Now please select the course. Cygnus course, 10 rupees. Monicom course, 10 rupees. Alalart course, 10 rupees. All right. Now, some of these courses are just tutorial things. 
But like, I think some of them are like things that you have to... That you can only learn this way. I think Monecom is one of them. Now let's start the lesson. <laughs> there are five wise men in Arabia. Each of them can give you the magic you need. Murun's wise man lives in a maze southeast of this town. He can give you the great magic called Monekon. However, you can use this magic only once during the Alalart Solar Eclipse. I will give you the flame to prove that you have passed the lesson. Good luck! Woohoo! Would you like to take another course? Sure! We'll take the Cygnus course. It's one of them battle formations. Now let's start the lesson. The formation is a strategy to defeat the enemy armies. Select the formation and fight. Then your defense power increases and you can use magical powers. However, only the formation which fits the enemy's character will work. The hard part is that I never remember, like, what exactly is good for which. I could write things down, but that would be, like, too competent. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before I can even use these anyway. Use the Cygnus formation against the Amarius and Corses Basido squad. <laughs> yeah, Basido. Remember these faces. If you meet the Basido squad, use the Cygnus formation. That's all for today. Now, let's start the exam! Oh no! The Basido squad appear! Select the best formation against this enemy. Man, do we remember? <laughs> Congratulations, you've passed! I wish you good luck. Yes. The Alal Art course. Now let's start the lesson. When the Alal Art Solar Eclipse occurs, it strengthens the power of Blue Star Spirit, Arosh, the Arabian Guardian Deity, because it shuts out all the sunlight. This causes all kinds of favorable mir miracles in Alal Art. These miracles can be maximized if you plant the Rupiah Seed during this period. For example, you would be able to use the Great Magic, or win a game at the casino. I will give you the Scimitar to prove that you have passed the lesson. Good luck! Would you like to take another course? No, I want the music to stop! <laughs> Please return if you have the chance. Alright. Alright. Flame Rod, which lets things sort of catch on fire if you hit them with it. Farouk has been waiting for a new adventure in Horan. Eh, okay, yeah, I got you. Okay. You're gonna say the same thing. Who are you? And where are you from? use the flying carpet, it's only a short ride to the place you want to go. I spent all my money because I don't have free college and <laughs> the moving lake will engulf Horan soon. How sad. What do they sell here? Oh. Wrong button. Bank account got wrecked by tuition fees. Yep. <laughs> this game will also let you take out loans to pay for college. So terrible. <laughs> Alright, I don't need any of these things. Not particularly. Okay. Alright. 
All right. Um. merged together. Ah! <laughs> Alright. And you be careful about, uh, falling off the edge of the world. Ow! Those bandits are really handsome. <laughs> I don't know, they're not my type. Forget if there were some uh, dateable characters that come later. A couple of uh, burly genies that you probably like, Aaron. <laughs> Samrima. It's got six experience points and fifteen rupees. No! No! Ah! Level rises. <laughs> Maximum HP has become seventy-four. Maximum MP has become sixty-eight. The offense power of the rod has increased. Let's memorize Diffany. No! Get away from me!
<laughs> Alright. Uh, store my HP. Maybe a little more than that. Get 10 HP at a time out of that. Not, but your way was shut off. <laughs> also, Coronia is almost out of magic. Alright, so once over again? No, we're fine. Alright, let's try escaping again. But your way was shut off. Alright, I don't have magic that's good for that. Samrima. Magic of Pampu. Oh. Alright. Yeah, it's very generous with the uh, escape attempts. It's not necessarily that generous at actually letting you get away. But you can keep trying a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm settling in for the long haul. <laughs> oh, we leveled up. Maybe we're stronger? No. Not really. <laughs> 45 minutes later. die horribly to I only got one life left it said I forget what the continue situation is in this game and immersive. I mean... <laughs> I mean... It was a pretty game. Especially for, like, the 1980s. Later on, I actually get uh, troopers to fight in battle with me, so it's not just the two of us. <sighs> just don't call more friends.
Alright. Knock him out. Oof. Timeless charm. Yeah. I say it's a music that does it. Yeah! Defeated Sam Rima. 14 experience points. And 35 rupees. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Go away!